Rob Crouch, thanks for your time this morning. We've had a busy first half of, uh, of, of session here. Uh, why don't you highlight some of the key fiscal issues that have really impacted uh, this state so far? Well, Indiana is challenged fiscally just like every other state. And while we're in better shape than most states, we still don't have enough revenue to meet our budget needs. Therefore, when you're in that position, you have two choices. You can either raise taxes or you can cut government spending. And what the state of Indiana has chosen to do is to cut government spending. Because while Hoosier families all over our state are struggling and tightening their belts, we in Indiana need to do the same thing. We have done that in a couple ways. We have instituted and have passed the resolution capping property tax caps, or pro capping property taxes and, and allowing the voters to have a say on that issue this November and by putting that in the Constitution and making it permanent. Mm -hmm. um, Going forward, obviously jobs are still an issue in everybody's mind. The unemployment rate in Indiana is still higher than most of us would like to see it. What is the General Assembly doing to create and retain jobs? Well, one of the really important things we did this session was that we passed a bill out of the House saying that state contracts, money that is used with state tax money, that those contracts and those jobs use Hoosier workers. So contractors and subcontractors have to have 80% of the workers on those state projects Hoosiers. So we will take what we can and we will use that to give back and to provide jobs for Hoosier families. How about uh, any incentives for businesses or small businesses, obviously a big job provider. Is there anything that uh, the General Assembly is working on to, to give small businesses um, a better position to leg up right now? Well, absolutely. We not only need to retain, but we need to create new jobs. And the General Assembly will be looking at a number of options to do that, to provide those incentives for businesses in this next half of the session. Uh, any other priorities going forward? Uh, we're going to see some Senate bills come over. Are you sponsoring any of those? Uh, actually, I am sponsoring a couple of bills. One has to do with allowing police and firemen to designate beneficiaries to receive their portion of their contributions into their pensions. In fact, that bill is actually going to be heard and available for second reading amendments today. All right. Thanks for your time today. You're welcome.